If you have a uterus, menstruation is not a choice. It happens and there's blood and you have to clean it and take care of it. Councilwoman Beck and Mayor Maddie Parker both had a proposal to expand the menstrual product um, into other city facilities. Menstrual products are like toilet paper, it's no different. And we need for young women to feel really welcome in our facilities. And we're very excited to know that we were partially um, two girls who influenced the decision to expand this to all the Fort Worthians. Motion passes. Yay. This is an issue not only for high school students, but for all people who menstruate struggle to have um, access to these resources that they need. So, of course, it started, we focused at our school because it was a more like tangible goal, but it's an issue across the nation. Um, the, pa the pandemic really exacerbated this issue. Like, almost all women have been struggling to have access to menstrual products, especially those who are um, economically disadvantaged. Yeah, and like you were saying, it is a burden for women because most menstruators tend to be women. Men mostly don't menstruate. And so having to buy tampons every month, like you said, there's a tampon shortage on top of having to pay, you know, it's a non-essential good, so you have to pay a tax on it. It just adds up over the course of your lifetime. Everyone has that day where they forgot their tampon and something, even non-poor women. And it just provides so much relief when you know in the restroom there's going to be some freely available menstrual hygiene products. Mm -hmm.